New this morning, should buses have seatbelts? It's been an ongoing conversation for decades now, and some South Carolina lawmakers say, yes, they should have seatbelts. So this is all a debate once again after five students were sent to the hospital. Their bus crashed earlier this week. Billie Jean Shaw is live for us now this morning at the bus headquarters in Rock Hill. So, Billie Jean, some people have said if the kids were wearing their seatbelts, um, that some of these incidents or injuries wouldn't have happened and that kids wear seatbelts in the car, so why not on the bus? Good morning, Carolyn. Well, that's a great point, especially considering up until January, the bus fleet across South Carolina, including here in Rock Hill, had major engine problems. They were old buses dating back as far as the early 80s, and some of those buses caught on fire. We reported a lot of stories about that, so some lawmakers are saying that adding these seatbelts can give an extra layer of protection to the students, but other lawmakers are disagreeing, saying that the National Transportation Safety Board says school buses are the safest vehicles on the road, but the NTSB is now adding to that and says buses should be equipped with seatbelts to offer students the best protection possible. South Carolina state representatives are now drafting a bill to make it so all South Carolina students are buckled up on the bus despite the same bill being voted down twice. Take a listen. You know, there are a lot of a lot of reasons why uh, I think people are afraid if there's a fire on the bus, you know, who's responsible for getting the children out that maybe are too young to release themselves from a seat belt. I believe that we should take every step to keep our children safe. You know, if we can prevent injury or the death of even one child that that's very important so representatives from the South Carolina Department of Education are weighing in on this and they say in order for uh, seatbelts to be on all the school buses in South Carolina, well, that's going to cost $12,000 per bus. And as far as North Carolina, there has been a recent push to add seatbelts on buses there as well. But according to the school bus safety website, they're saying that seatbelts aren't really the safest option. They say the, the seats on the school bus are is what keeps the students safe and that for small children, seatbelts can actually restrain them in the event of an emergency. Reporting live in Rock Hill, Billie Jean Shaw, back to you. Billie Jean, thanks.